G'day, I'm Jacob from Make Science Fun. Thanks for joining me in this tiny science episode. And today's episode, I'm going to try and make a teeny weeny tiny little volcano out of paper mache, which we can erupt. We're gonna need a few things. We're gonna need a source of heat and some cornstarch and also some newspaper and some paints. Um, and I've got a little bit of a uh, wire here. It's like thin chicken wire. And that's what the wire frame of the volcano is gonna be made from. So I'm going to trace around this uh, round object with the Sharpie. Around we go like that. Cut, cut, cut. Volcanoes are so good. I've made some really, really big ones in the past, but making a small one should be just as fun and it won't use as many resources and it still should do the same thing. So now I've got a nice round piece of metal and I'm going to cut into the center and then in the center, I need to cut out a decent sized circle. Just cutting out the center. See that? The center is going to be where it erupts from. And what I'll do now is I'll twist, twist it up <laughs> and you know, there it is. There's your little volcano. Now, that's a bit of a shield volcano. Um, to make it a little bit higher, I twist it like that. Very, very good. Ready for the paper mache. So for the paper mache, I need to have a beaker with some water. Do, 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 do. And I'm going to add some cornstarch. Add the cornstarch. Down at sinking. What are you thinking about? And I've got a little stirring rod right here. Let's give it a bit of a stir. Perfect. And now I'll heat it up. So, it's my Bunsen burner. Okay, so now I heat it up and I have to have to keep stirring it. Stirring, 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 stirring. Going to be changing very soon. I can detect some changes already. Sort of glugging up, so I might actually just turn off the heat. And <laughs> sort of absorbing. It works, this stuff works much better if you can turn it in. Look at this, look, look, see, look at that. It's turned into the glue already, see? That is unbelievable. It's like a translucent, translucent glue. Absolutely perfect, perfect for paper mache. And now what I need to do is coat little strips of paper. What I find the best thing to do is just to tear, just to tear your newspaper into thin little strips like this. What would happen if I gave the metal a little bit of a coat? Hey, that's a good idea, isn't it? And around around. I'm gonna have to make up some more glue, aren't I? Don't want too many layers because then it doesn't dry. So I made a little bit more glue. You don't want too much, but you don't want you don't want too little either. If you have too much, ooh, it's almost almost feels like Vaseline petroleum jelly. That's sort of what it feels like. If you have too much, then it's 
doesn't doesn't takes too long to dry. So you learn, you learn by doing, learn by doing in science. That's what I think. I'm actually getting somewhere. It's actually starting to look a bit like a volcano. Ta-da! Time to put this in the sun to harden up. Let's go. All right, so it's been in the sun now for a few hours and it's as hard as a rock. So time to paint it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a coat of white paint on first. Paint that on, just paint the whole volcano. Nice thick coating of white paint. Sort of like black, there's the, the back, the back color. Cause then we'll be able to paint green and stuff like that. Red and blue. Here we do. I think it's going brown. Let's put some brown up the top. I'm gonna make it look like it's got snow. Maybe that 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 is better, I reckon. A little bit of brown, a little bit of. Maybe I don't want it too green. lava okay so my eruption is going to be something that you can't do at home but basically I've got some sulfur here sulfur is a yellow element and I've got some powdered zinc and I'm going to sort of like mix those together a bit oh what a mess I'm not very good at this tiny science am I um, and I'm gonna put them in put them into this little bowl in the little bowl like that I've got my hot glue gun and I'm gonna put some hot glue around the top edge and then I should be able to push it up, up there into the middle that looks good should stay there I'm going to put a little sparkler there to ignite it <laughs> I like the sparkler. Woo! That was exciting. How about we now do a bicarb and vinegar reaction. So I've got a little pot here and oh, and I'm going to put my bicarb soda into the little pan like that. Then I'm going to add some detergent, just a little bit. And give that a bit of a mix, mix with the detergent. Mixy, 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 mixy. And how about a bit of red food coloring? Because lava is red. Bloop, bloop. Get some hot glue happening.
Oh, and how cute was that? Well, thanks for joining me on this tiny science, tiny little volcano, paper mache volcano, which you can make yourselves at home now. And uh, if you've enjoyed this episode, make sure you like, subscribe, and check out my video next Friday. Okay, bye for now.